I'm gonna read a poem about my sweater collection. It's titled Sweaters. <laughs> Splayed and splendid, the pastel explosion now lie limp and loveless across my unmade mattress. Memories of markets I journeyed dreamfully to be gypped by Virginian hawkers in hopes of having the most hideous, one day heavenly digest of dissonant sweaters. <laughs> Terrible and untamed turtlenecks, one royal red and vermilion riveted, the neck secured by a clunky clover brooch, and at broad, a brusque bronze holiday jumper, both horrible and healthy, reprobate with reindeer, the reams of retro-fitted garb are garnished gay and good. Periwinkle <laughs> and peach cardigan, perky and exuberant dress, for the exiled and exempt, for that life I love. Lo, could I unkindle my delight in kitsch, I wouldn't. <laughs> Weirdness, wonder strike me. How else do I speak to my sad and surreal self? <laughs> this is a, next poem is um, a poem in three parts. It's titled Such As. Such as, peril, fever, collection of pages heavy, a hard macaroni and a quick brick road, caution, dandelion, damp floor, a cracked saucer of horseradish, childhood, yes, a lost suburb, and school bus of nostalgia, one staleness of oxbone kingdom, a river, a yoke, a sack, that certain type of happiness, sliver of bright butter, dry urine, ripe lemon, porch light invisible, and a dull gold, a fried blonde, firefly, corona, monster eye, such as what to do when someone sings so sweetly an epithet is singing so sweetly beside you your epithet smiling and joyous this god bless american name a celebration so heavenward and wrong it touches me to learn again and again that this my body my dear and only body one lovely chink in the whole damn night such as my mother was a fever, my father was a restaurant. Every noon he fed his lungs to an entire city. Every night he held my belly searching for a suburb. I was the firefly that flared only once in my father's kingdom. I learned to speak English like a quick brick road. I split rocks in the back lot of my father's skull. I picked dandelions from the underarms of him, my father. I was the smell of ripe lemons in his oxbone nation. I was never brave, but he let me eat butter, held me like an egg. I was pure yolk and ate everything with my monster eye. Oh, did I mention my mother was the fever? That's my father I meant. Still, my father standing there, holding up the threshold. My father was always the fever and always the restaurant. My father, whose splintered shoulders knew the words to one anthem only. Mm -hmm. I have one last poem. This is the most recent thing I've written. Um, it's about the flight over here to LA. I'm from New York, so I haven't ever been out here before. So um, this is titled, and I, 30,000 feet in the air, pop. <laughs> <laughs> the marvelous children, too small to fill the first class inheritance, and man, pink-baked, tan with no regrets, nor SPF, occupies the overhead with his fender and razor scooter, blocks all others' possession, while across the cabin, a gift too easily, my arm bar to the adolescent kith, whose eyelashes perk like black grass around a wet well, asks me, why are you so sorry? And I, 30,000 feet in the air, pop an erection while asleep <laughs> due to low cabin pressure and, <laughs> and watching American Ninja Warrior on repeat. I dream slack jaw, the fuselage loop the loops and loops, watch out. I am shameful and lucid and so dangerously weightless. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>